Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss cache. So we will understand what is cache and how it works. Then we will discuss advantages of cache. Then we will discuss when we should use cache and when we should not use cache. And then in our next video, we will discuss Azure cache for Redis. Now guys, what is this cache and how it works? Let's actually try to understand it with an example. Now guys, let's say we have this application and in this application, we have one of the page which displays the list of application administrators. And let's say we have these four administrators. And now guys, obviously we will fetch this list of administrators from this database, right? But guys, such database calls, they are expensive and it takes time to load the data from database. So ideally, what we should do is, let's say if this list of administrators, if it does not change frequently, then we should fetch this list from this database only once. And then we should store this list somewhere in the cache. So guys, basically cache is nothing but in-memory database. So guys, again, this is our application and obviously it must be hosted somewhere in this web server or simply let's say server. So obviously this server, it has some memory or it has RAM. So in simple words, this cache is in-memory database of this server. So we can store the list of admins in this cache that is in RAM or in memory of this server. So next time, whenever someone asks for the list of admins, instead of fetching it from the database, we can simply fetch it from the cache. So again, cache, it is in memory database of the server. Okay. But then how exactly it works? So let's say when someone asks for this list of admins for the first time, so obviously that list, it won't be there in the cache. So for the first time, we will go to the database and we will fetch that list from the database and of course we will show that list on the page as well but at the same time we will store that list in the cache so for the subsequent calls instead of fetching that list from the database we will simply fetch it from the cache and now as you can guess when we use cache the performance of our application is great And also we have reduced the number of database operations and we have also reduced the CPU load on this database server as well. Actually this point one and point two, they are one and the same thing. Okay. So great guys, we have understood cache at high level, but then the question is when we should use cache. So the first point we should use cache for the data which is accessed frequently but guys that's not the only criteria and the second criteria is such frequently accessed data that should not change frequently okay. so guys as you can guess if we have the data which changes frequently then there is no point in storing that data in cache and retrieving it from cache because obviously data which is there in cache that is not the latest data that means that may not be the correct data right and guys third the most important thing is we should not use cache for time sensitive data for example stock prices obviously the prices of stocks they keep changing every second and of course, in such case, we cannot use cache. Now, guys, there are additional scenarios as well. For example, session store, where we can use cache. But as of now, let's keep it simple and we will discuss session store in our upcoming videos. So that's it, guys, for this video. Thanks. Thanks for listening.